Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This is a lockout line problem. Um, you'll be able to try this on the link below. Um, so, uh, thanks RiffClown for sending this one in, RiffClown being one of the creators of lockout lines. So, always good to get a lockout line problem from RiffClown, or a puzzle. Um, so, the way lockout lines work, a little bit tricky if you've never seen them before. The digits on the diamonds on the lockout lines must be at least four apart, and digits placed between the diamonds on the lines um, must be outside the bounds of the digits in the diamonds. So um, they cannot be either the di digits in the diamonds or any digits um, that would fall between those two numbers. Um, the If there is multiple um, diamonds in a line segment that will, um, so if there's a run with diamonds, diamonds terminate a line segment um, and digits are allowed to repeat on lines if permitted by other rules. Um, not relevant for this problem, but worth knowing for how lockout lines in general. So if you watch to pause the video um, to give this a try, I will be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so... Um, familiarity with lockout lines, of course, will help with this one, um, but uh, let's see how you go. So the first thing that um, I would do when I was solving this one, the first um, I was not given a path on this one, I don't think, but um, this is what I did. So if you've got a lockout line which has two and six as the bounds, then the only digits you can put on the lockout line are one, seven, whoops, not four, one, seven, eight, and nine, because they're the only digits that fall outside of two and six. So these are from one, seven, eight, and nine. This can't be a seven, this can't be a one. Now, the only digits that are four away from four um, within the digits one to nine are eight and nine, and the only digits that are four away from five are one and nine. So you get a one, seven, eight, nine quadruple, and this is the only place the seven can, do, uh, seven can go. Um, so you immediately get that. Now, because 7, 8, and 9 are gone, if this was to be a 1, both of these would have to be from 6, 7, 8, and 9. But 7, 8, and 9 can't be used. So if this was a 1, um, you couldn't fill these. They'd both have to be 6. So this has to be the 9, which makes this the 8, which makes this the 1. Now we can look at this line. Now, this, because this is 4 and 8, can only be from 1, 2, 3, and 9. Well, 1 and 9 are both gone, and th because they're already in the box, and this 2 makes this 3 and this 2. Now, on we've only got three digits left, so we may as well put them in. We've got 4, 5, and 6 left. Now, um, this can't be 5 because or 6, because 5 and 6 are not permitted by the lockout line. 6 is between 5 and 9, and 5 is one of the digits. So this becomes the 4, this becomes a 5-6 pair, and this 6 resolves it. That becomes the 5, and that becomes the 6. And that is the solution to the lockout line problem. It's all about restricting the digits that can go on the lines, and then using the, the bounds that are set by 4 apart. Very nice little problem to explain lockout lines and do it in a concentrated way. I really like this one. Thank you, RiffClown, for sending it through. Hopefully you had not too much problem with that one, but I understand lockout lines are a little bit tricky. They are not a common constraint, though I try and do them more often on my channel than others do. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series, and as always, good luck with your solving.